Hey there, smart home enthusiasts. Welcome to the official YoLink product support channel. In this video, we'll guide you through everything you need to know about the YoLink hub, including unboxing, setup, features, and a tour of the app. Now that may sound like a lot, but thankfully we have timestamps over here, or you can use the chapters on this video. By the end of the video, you should know all of the tricks to get your YoLink hub functioning the way that you want and to maximize your smart home experience. All right, so let's start by unboxing the YoLink hub. Now inside the box, you'll find a YoLink hub, a flat ethernet cable, a micro USB cable, a USB power brick, and of course, a quick start guide. The YoLink hub is the central command point for all of your YoLink smart devices. It's compact, easy to set up, and compatible with a wide range of devices, such as smart plugs, door sensors, water leak sensors, and more. Now, your YoLink hub is equipped with LoRa, a long-range wireless technology. This means you can place devices and sensors up to a thousand feet away from your hub, expanding your control of your smart home to almost anywhere that you can think of. All right, so let's go ahead and get our hub set up. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is get the hub connected to your home network. Now, you have a choice between either using the ethernet connection or connecting it via Wi-Fi. For either option, the first thing you need to do is head over to either the App Store or the Play Store and download the YoLink app. You can scan the QR code right here on screen if that makes things easier. Once you get the app downloaded, go ahead and open it up. The next thing you're gonna be asked is to set up your YoLink account. And if you do get a prompt about allowing notifications, go ahead and accept that. Now, if you already have an existing YoLink account, go ahead and log in now. If not, press down here to create a new one. You'll just need to provide your email address, a username of your choice, and a secure password. Once you've created your account, go ahead and log in if necessary. Now we can get your hub connected to the network. So the first step should be to scan the QR code on the hub and add it into the app. Then we're gonna connect the hub to the internet. But before we apply power to the hub, let's get it paired into our account. When you first enter the app, it will take you through a quick tour that you need to complete before adding the hub. So in the app, click on the scanner icon in the top right hand corner. If your phone requests access to your camera, you'll need to allow this. You will now get a scanner screen on your phone. Please go ahead and scan the QR code on the rear of the hub. So now you should be in the customization screen for the hub. On this screen, you can give your hub a custom name, add it to a specific room, or click on the heart to add it to your favorite screen. Then when you're done, go ahead and click bind device. You should now see a screen informing you that the hub has been bonded to your account. Then click done. Now you'll notice that the hub is offline in the app. That's because we haven't connected it to our network yet. Now, if you wanna connect your hub to your network via ethernet, then you can connect the included ethernet cable to the back of your hub, connect the other end of the ethernet cable to your router or switch. Then connect the micro USB end of the power cable to the hub, and then plug the USB end into the included USB power adapter and plug that into an outlet. The hub will flash green while it's attempting to connect. Once the hub is connected to the internet, you should see a blue and green light. Once you do this, your hub is connected and you can move to the next section. Alternatively, if you wanna connect your hub over Wi-Fi, then plug the power adapter into the hub and the other end into the outlet as before. To connect over Wi-Fi, click on your newly paired hub. Then in the hub details screen, click the Wi-Fi icon in the top right hand corner. Now, to get the hub into Wi-Fi pairing mode, we need to press and hold the set button on the back of the hub for five seconds. You will know the hub is in Wi-Fi pairing mode when the blue light blinks. Next, on our phone, we need to go into the Wi-Fi settings and connect to the YS underscore hotspot. Now, on Android, you just swipe down from the top, long press on the Wi-Fi icon, then you can pull down to scan for new Wi-Fi hotspots. We'll select the one that's YS underscore and then a series of numbers that match your phone. We'll click on that and your phone will automatically connect to this Wi-Fi access point once you click on it. On iOS, you'll need to go to your settings app, click on the Wi-Fi icon, and then select the YS underscore Wi-Fi access point. On Android, if you get a notice about there being no internet connectivity, go ahead and click connect anyway. Now we're gonna go back into our YoLink app, select the confirm above operation button and click continue. If you get a notification about accessing your device's location, go ahead and accept this. On Android, click on while using this app. iOS looks very similar. Now to search for your home's Wi-Fi network, click the down arrow and the hub will search for available Wi-Fi networks. Select your network from the list and enter your Wi-Fi password. Once you've entered your password, you might wanna click the eye icon to ensure you have it correct. Then click continue. Now we need to wait for the device to show that it's connected to the internet. You will need to be using a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network for this device. A five gigahertz network will not work. 
Once the hub has connected to your Wi-Fi, you will see a connection successful screen and you can click done to continue. You can also tell because the blue light will be solid on the hub. Now, if you'd like to receive notifications, if the hub does go offline, go ahead and follow these steps. Go back to the main menu, click on the three lines in the corner, go down to settings. Then on this screen, select alarm strategies. Then under the always strategy, click edit. Then under the related devices, click that option, find your hub and tick the box next to it. So that way, anytime your hub does happen to go offline, you will get a high priority notice. If you'd like some more information about alarm strategies and how to set those up, we've got another video for you right over here. Now, once the above steps have been completed, if the hub does go offline, you will receive a notification, which will alert you to check your network or power at your house. This feature ensures that you're always informed and can take action very quickly if necessary. Now that our hub is set up, you're ready to pair some devices. To add a device, press the scan button at the top right hand corner of the app. In this example, we're going to be adding a water leak sensor. So once you have the scanner pulled up on your phone, go ahead and scan the QR code on the back of the device. Next, you'll see a customization screen where again, you can change the name, the room, or add this device to your favorites. Once you're ready, click bind device. Now, if you get a yellow triangle on the screen, that means that your device is not currently awake and the hub can't see it. So to solve this, go ahead and put the batteries in if they're not already inserted in the device. In the case of this water leak sensor, it already has batteries installed in it. So all we have to do is press the set button on the back. When setting up a leak sensor for the first time, it'll flash red once and then green once. But if you've already set it up once before, it'll only flash red once. Now to confirm that your device is paired and connected to the hub, just click on the device and look in the top right hand corner. You should see a wireless icon indicating it does have signal connected back to the hub. For more details, you can click the three dots in the right hand corner and then scroll down to signal intensity. This will tell you if your signal is strong, moderate or weak, depending on how far away that you've placed the sensor. Now that we know how to add devices to our hub, let's look at how to remove them. Now to remove a device, just click the device in the main menu, then click the three dots in the top right hand corner to go into the device details. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see a big red delete button. Click that. You'll be asked to confirm that you want to truly delete this device. If you're ready, press delete. Now the device has been removed from your hub. You can now bond it to a different hub if you wish. All right, now that we've seen how to work with devices, let's take a tour of the YoLink app. First, let's press on the three lines in the top left to open the app options. Then if we click settings, it'll take us into the application settings. At the top of the settings page, we can click account. Here, you'll find information on your YoLink account. From this screen, you can see your username and email. You can set your phone number and reset your password if necessary. You can also access your home's preferences from this menu. Now, if you turn on auth valid, then the app will require a fingerprint or face ID to unlock, depending on what type of hardware you have. If you click on advanced settings, you can set your notification preferences. You can choose from push messages via the application, email notifications, or SMS text notifications. Under account access control, you can see advanced information like API credentials and what devices have logged into your account. Then you can choose if you want to enable control of security devices like locks and garage doors. Back on the account screen, you can also change which page your app opens up to. Right now, we only have rooms and favorites. In the rooms menu, you can create new rooms to better organize your YoLink account. This way you can assign your devices to rooms to more easily manage them or have them match your home's layout. In this menu, you can check how many email and text message credits you have left on your account. If you need more, you can always upgrade to a higher tier plan. In the locale settings, you can change your home's location, time zone, and temperature units. You can also manually set the clock if necessary. Under third-party services, in this menu, you can set up your favorite smart assistant. Compatible options are Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and Ali Genie. You can also tie your system into IFTTT for cloud-based automations. Finally, you can change the country that your hub thinks it's in in the service area screen. Back at the main menu, you can quickly check the status of your device here. The online offline indicator will tell you if the device is powered on and connected to the hub's network, or if it's currently offline. You can also quickly see the battery remaining on your device at the top right hand corner. At the bottom of each device is its status. This will vary between different types of devices, whether it's normal or online. If the device is offline, then you'll see the status replaced with offline. 
Clicking on any device will take you to the device's information screen. In this screen, you'll get a variety of information based on what device you're using. For example, this leak sensor, you will see the status of the device with a graphical representation on the main part of the screen. You can quickly access the alert settings by clicking the bell or the device history by clicking the history icon. At the top right hand, you'll see the battery and signal indicators for the device. And if you press the three dots, you'll be taken to the device settings screen. If you want more information on the device settings, check out the specific video for your device. And there you have it. With your Yolink Hub set up, you're well on your way to creating the perfect smart home environment. The Yolink app makes it easy to manage and control your devices all in one place. Now, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to check out the rest of our products and support videos over at shop.yosmart.com. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or contact our support team at service at yosmart.com. Thank you for watching.